Hey there! So we're gonna do another weird story time. I've been doing a lot of story times. It's a little impromptu. This month has been anything other than planned out. Anyway. Um, I'll make all the videos that I had planned for this month. I just won't make them in May. But, today I'm gonna tell the story of someone that has me a little shaken. Shaken up. Just a bit. site and these people you know they put me we're doing this experiment with zebrafish and they're analyzing proteins and so they're making some gel and apparently you can look at the proteins in a gel I don't know anything about this this is well beyond way beyond what I can see let's get that clear so we're looking at these proteins in a gel. And then they do this thing called a western blot. Which as far as I can tell is where you make an x-ray of it. Except you don't use radiation. But you do. For some of them. I don't know. You produce what- you wind up with what looks like an x-ray. Anyway. Um. Also, there's that book. That's a June book. I'm actually reading that one. Anyway, so they're producing these western blots and you put them in a machine. Um, but unbeknownst to us at the lab, this machine is broken and has been patched with tape. We didn't look thoroughly enough to decipher this. So, they put me in charge of this machine. Okay, it runs for seven minutes. What can be hard? I just stand there, babysitting it. Except every three seconds it produces an error message. So, my, not my boss, but my makeshift boss for the day, because my boss is not in today. My boss is out. My boss is chilling, doing his thing somewhere else at another meeting. Because my boss has like three jobs. Um, but my faux boss, kind of has me push the start button every time it says the error message because it'll just keep running. So, I, after a while, I start seeing some stuff in my field of vision. And I can't decide if it's just my hair falling in my face in front of my eyes or if it's white smoke. And then at like three and a half minutes I, uh, of this thing running, I call my faux boss and I'm like, hey, what kind of smell is a western blot supposed to make? And she's like, it's not, it's not supposed to. So, uh, it's definitely smoking and it smells like bad. And I am very, very, very nervous. So I unplug it. I turn it off, unplug it. We open it later. Enough of the gel is salvageable that apparently they run it later and they get their western blot. But we open it later and on the, the non-salvageable part of the western blot, it's just 
a melted black metallic goop. But where there was like kind of a fire on the eye blot machine thing. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I guess this happens kind of frequently because researchers don't get as much money as they should. Whoa, political statement, what? Send more money to NIH than war, what? Whoa, what? Sorry. Anyway, um, but I just don't want my friends getting electrocuted or burning down the lab. And also, it was just really sketch and jeez, 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 jeez. Like I feel, I feel like I'm overreacting. I'm definitely overreacting. But at the same time, there was a legit fire in there, and it definitely. If I had waited the full seven minutes, it definitely, like, the whole machine would have got, at least, maybe more than the machine. Uh, I'm shaking. I'm shooketh. I hope you have a great